The last 10 years, we've been focused on uh, reinventing the computer, getting it ready for uh, generative AI. And what we're going through right now, the first wave of AI is modernizing all of the world's data centers. A trillion dollars worth of data centers being, re uh, being reimagined and modernized to be prepared for generative AI. And a lot of our focus has been in the cloud, in uh, data centers and such. Uh, what we're looking at now is the beginning of the next wave of AI the biggest wave of AI. And this is really about uh, companies around the world using AI to be more productive as their digital employees and AI agents and co-pilots and however people describe them, as well as using AI, generative AI, to revolutionize the way they build their products and the products they build. As a semiconductor engineer who has worked in Silicon Valley for over two decades, I think Nvidia is just getting started. So I am putting my money where my mouth is and buying more NVIDIA stocks. Today, NVIDIA stock jumped by 3.3% after Jensen Wong said that the demand for its next generation Blackwell chips is insane. So let's talk about why NVIDIA is dominating the AI market. First, we need to understand that when it comes to AI chips, it is not all about the hardware. Software also plays a key role. And software is where NVIDIA really shines. NVIDIA's CUDA platform libraries have become the industry standard for AI development. With each hardware release, they optimize their software stack to take full advantage of new features in the chips. Their next generation Blackwell chips will further benefit from refinements of NVIDIA's software. This will make it easier for developers to unlock performance without switching to a competitor's architecture. NVIDIA's competitors cannot use CUDA cores because it is a proprietary software platform owned and controlled by NVIDIA. CUDA is NVIDIA's proprietary parallel computing platform and programming model. It is specifically designed to work with NVIDIA's GPUs. Since it is NVIDIA's intellectual property, competitors like AMD, Intel and others cannot legally use CUDA or implement it for their hardware. CUDA is deeply integrated with NVIDIA's GPU architecture and it is optimized for tasks like deep learning, AI training and high performance computing. Since NVIDIA designs both the hardware and and the software ecosystem, it is able to ensure that CUDA leverages NVIDIA's hardware-specific capabilities like tensor cores, streaming multiprocessors, and memory hierarchies. Competitors cannot easily replicate this tight integration. One of the reasons why NVIDIA has such a strong foothold in the AI and high-performance computing markets is the extensive ecosystem built around CUDA. Developers have invested years into learning CUDA and writing CUDA optimized code for AI models, simulations, and other workloads. Switching to a new platform would require significant effort. They will have to rewrite and optimize code for non-CUDA alternatives. This creates a strong barrier for NVIDIA's competitors. CUDA's strength lies in its rich ecosystem of optimized libraries for deep learning and linear algebra. It also offers broad support across popular AI frameworks such as TensorFlow, PyTorch, and MXNet. This makes CUDA the go-to choice for many AI developers and researchers. NVIDIA also continuously updates and refines these libraries to work seamlessly with their latest hardware. This is something competitors cannot replicate without access to the CUDA platform. Even if competitors could create similar parallel computing platforms, they still lag behind CUDA in terms of maturity, support, and optimization for AI tasks. CUDA has been battle-tested over a decade and has an established advantage in performance for GPU-accelerated applications, which is hard for competitors to match in the short term. In short, CUDA is the key part of NVIDIA's competitive moat. It allows them to maintain dominance in AI and HPC markets. Its proprietary nature, tight integration with NVIDIA's hardware, and extensive ecosystem prevents NVIDIA's competitors from catching up. Also, the upcoming Blackwell chips are expected to bring significant architectural improvements over the current Ampere and Hopper generations. These optimizations will focus on increasing parallel processing capabilities, which is essential for AI tasks such as deep learning and neural network training. So I don't see NVIDIA slowing down anytime soon. And that is the reason why I am loading up on NVIDIA stock. 
So what do you guys think? Are you bullish on Nvidia? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you found this video useful, please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.